Hey guys, welcome back. It's Deedsy. How's everyone doing today? I'm doing awesome. Mariners have been on a 13-game winning streak, and I'm hoping right now that they can pull off game 14, which is going on right now. Those dang Astros are still at 10 games ahead, unfortunately, so we got work to do in the second half, but pretty happy with the way the guys have been playing. Today we're going to be doing an old-school rip, guys. We've got uh, 1993, the premiere edition of Fleer Flare. Uh, this is the unique set for those with special flair for the game. Kind of a cool box. Uh, this is a pretty sweet set. It's going to have 24 packs in the box. Just one insert set in this. It's going to be the wave of the future. So they didn't do a lot of inserts in this until the following year, 94. I didn't buy any of this as a kid um, just because it was too much for me. I didn't start buying until the later years. Um, looking for those special inserts of Mike Piazza, Manny Ramirez. Going to be the key players in those. Those are one in four packs. We should see a lot of those. And uh, looking for Griffey, obviously, just for the base card. It is one of the cards of Griffey I do not own. So hope I can pull that one today. Here's the packs, the box. Really cool. They did a really good job with these. I like the little cardboard uh, boxes that they did back in the day. Those are pretty cool. There's your packs. Contains 10 trading cards. 300 card set. It's not a big set. And there's your one insert set. So these are pretty fun packs. I'll just lay that back there. And well, I need a knife for all these packs. I know that the later years had like a little separation in the back. These appear like they do not. So, all right, let's see what we can get in these. A lot of Hall of Famers in this set. You know, Cal Ripken, Greg Maddox, Frank Thomas, you know, the big names. So the pack slides off like this, which is kind of cool. It's got the little diamond. And then inside the pack, these are repackaged inside. So you, get, you guys are getting a double wrap on these guys here. Boxes are cool. I'll probably save one of these just because they look neat. We'll stick one up here. Flare. All right, guys. Here's pack one. Not a crazy design. It's just very, you know, no border, no nothing on it. And you can barely read the name down here. It's a little bit in that gold ink and then just the flare. I did like next the 94 season better because it had more going on the bottom there but that's the front here's your back nothing crazy so dean palmer and we've got a tino martinez on the mariners that's a cool card so he didn't play the mariners long but he was a player i really enjoyed these are kind of hard to read actually Derek may okay tom glavin so there's a hall of famer i'll put those in a separate pile Put the uh, the guys for the PC on the back drops there, and put some Hall of Famers right there in the middle. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit the uh, like and subscribe. Check out our other videos. We do all kinds of new stuff, comics as well, and obviously you know the, this this old stuff as well, which is pretty fun. We are getting close to our 200 subscriber uh, giveaway. We're gonna be doing. Um, haven't announced that yet on the channel, but we will be doing a little video for that. We'll be having some giveaways for that as we get closer and closer to 200. So I definitely appreciate everyone who's been uh, supporting us along the way. It's Bernie Williams. No variations. There's a John Olroad card. Good player. Cecil Fielder. Nice thing about these cards, they are wrapped and protected. There's Mike Piazza. Nice. That's a cool card. That's actually one of the better ones. This is 93, so it's not his rookie year. It's his, uh, be a second year card. Um, but that's still actually, you know, one of the better ones to get out of the set. He's the insert we're looking for. A lot of unwrapping in these. That's the only, only drawback to this set. But yeah, these are like, I think like maybe five to six bucks a pack back in the day. Um, well protected cards, which is nice. So yeah, like I said earlier, no sticking together, which is really cool. But yeah, a lot, a lot when you're just a kid trying to buy cards. I mean, compared to these days, it's not a big deal. Here we go. Another Mariner, Jay Buhner. Sweet card. Got Mariner number two. Should be a lot of those. Uh, oh, well, we got two in the same pack. Well, we'll, we'll put them both up there. Bo Jackson. Look at that card. That's a sweet card of Bo Jackson. On the White Sox. I don't think of him as a White Sox, you know, when I think of Bo Jackson. I'll put him up here because Bo Jackson is one of my faves. And there's a second Mike Piazza. So a 300 card set, probably going to see a lot of duplicates. And so far, 
kind of seeing a lot of the same a couple of duplicates already. Two Buners in one pack, which if you're a, not just Mariners fan, you're probably like, oh, great. But I actually am, so I'm actually happy about that. So that's pretty cool. Hope I can get, like a, get two Griffies in the pack. This is one of the Griffies I actually don't own, so I would like to get that card. Will Clark, that's a pretty cool photo. Oh, our first sideways card in this set. I didn't know they did that in this set. Of course, you got to keep flipping the cards upside down, you know, just for fun. So far, no inserts. If you guys are new to the channel, there's Barry Larkin. Definitely uh, check out our other old school rips if you're looking for any old stuff. Mostly 90s stuff because I'm mostly looking for, you know, some Mariners, greats, Griffies, A-Rods, that kind of stuff. And, you know, just cool interest that they had. Things I didn't collect when I was a kid. Um, if there's any sets that I that you'd like to see, let me know. Um, if I come across them, I'll pick them up. Because it's I like to find the unique stuff that I don't, you know, didn't get back then. That one is stuck to there. That's weird. Okay, well, plastic sets. Okay. Um, just kind of see uh, things I missed out on. Oh, it's a Mariner. Mark McGuire, Big Mac. Look at that mullet. That's awesome. He's not a Hall of Famer, but I think he should be a Hall of Famer. What do you guys think? Let me know below in the comments. There's the plastic stuck on that card, so. Joe Girardi. Oh, there we go. It came off. He played for the Rockies? How did I forget that? Manager for the Yankees for a while. 93, a year before the the strike, Griffey was killing it. The Mariners were just starting to heat up, becoming a bigger team. Right there in their prime. Dude, hey, there it is. There we go. So that's the card I'm looking for right there. King Griffey Jr. There's the back, number 270. Sweet card. Yeah, 92, he was hitting... Hit mid twenties on the home runs. It wasn't until later on. As a Piazza, I'm gonna move you back. Just gonna have Griffey right here on the side there. Let's see what else we got here. Two. Some of these photos are kind of weird. Like he kind of just fades into the field there. Very interesting. Now, well, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Pedro Martinez of the design. It's a set you guys like. Backwards card. Backwards, backwards cards didn't meet anything. Uh, <laughs> they just like to shuffle them around as much as they possibly can. And nowadays, you get a backwards card, you're like, oh, this is going to be the best thing ever. Though I've had a few lately that have been uh, just tricks, you know. It's kind of mean. No inserts yet. They're one in four packs, so I figured we'd see some. There's our sideways card. I did not know. David Wells. Pipe for the Tigers. I did. Man, I forgot a lot of these guys where they played in 93. Tom Glavin again. So we're loading up on some Hall of Famers there. We had Pedro when he's on the Dodgers. Man, I've been super excited for the All-Star game coming up. I'm not sure how I feel about... Um, J-Rod joining the Derby. I just feel like a lot of the guys who join the Derby, they kind of exert a lot of energy, and then they kind of fade off the second half of the season. So, hey, there's Edgar. Sweet Mariners Hall of Famer. And there is our first insert, and that is David McCarty. It's a wave of the future. It's kind of a cool card. Not as, uh, you know, intense as the, the next year's. They look a little bit better, but... It's like a 20 card set. We got our first one though. It's Joe Carter on the Jays. For all you guys up there in Canada. Yeah, I hope the Derby um does not take the 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 energy out of him because they need him. He's been so good. He's been one of the best players on the team. And I would just hate to see a second half. I mean, he's probably gonna be rookie of the year this year. I hate to see a second half of the season just fall apart because he's doing that. Oh, Rangers just had a solo home run from Marcus Simeon. So Mariners are down 0-1 right now. Game 14, possibly in the streak here.
Great comeback last night, but J.P. Crawford, the 10th. Jose Canseco on the Rangers. It's a Kirby Puckett card. Save that one aside for my brother. Robin Young, that's a Hall of Famer. And a Greg Maddox. Sweet card. One of my favorite pitchers to watch ever. He's a great player. Let's see here. I'll, I'll put Kirby up over here in front of Bo. Just for my brother there. Who do you guys think is going to win that derby? Pete Alonso, I think he's going to hit, uh, win it three times in a row. I think he's got some pretty good competition this year. He did. He joined Junior as the only uh, guy that's ever won three derbies. So he'd be the only one to do it three times in a row if he did it. So could be interesting. So Juan Soto's joining. There's Paul Malter, the Blue Jay. I'm not sure if that's going to help him out or not. Um, he's... He's been having a decent year, but like uh, he's his batting average is really low this year. Frank Thomas, that's a cool card. Big Hurt. He's definitely a great player. Marquise Grissom, there's an Expo. I think that's the first Expo I actually got, guys. So I know Slap Nuts wanted me to shout out the Expos, and he loves those cards. So I'll set that on the side there. That's the Expo for you there. And Ramon Martinez, the brother of Pedro. Get a few Expos cards in here. I'm not sure if this was here. They <laughs> trade away a bunch of their good players. Can't remember. I didn't, I didn't follow them too much back then, obviously. I think it'll be interesting to see uh, Albert Poulos in the Derby. I was really hoping he'd hit 700 home runs this year. Um, Rafael Palmero should be Hall of Famer. I'm not sure. Uh, they'll have Miguel Cabrera and. Uh, I think him and Pools are both in the All-Star game, but I think just Pools is in the Derby. Guy baseball. See how that goes. Yeah, I was really hoping he would hit the 700 home runs this year, but he's really behind. That's a cool Ryan Sandberg card. He's definitely behind on the home run chart. I think he has like five maybe this year. I think he's like 15 more or something like that. I just don't think that's gonna happen. See how the Derby treats him. It should be good. It's exciting to see uh, him, Yachty, and Wainwright all playing together in their final season. Bobby Witt, father of Bobby Witt Jr. There's our wave of, th wave of the future, and that's an expo right there for you guys. Cliff Lloyd is a good player. He was one of the, the big prospects that year. Him and Manny were in all the sets together. That's a pretty cool card. So we got two wave of the future so far. Hoping to pull the Piazza or the Manny would be awesome. Um, I actually think I had the Piazza when I was a kid. I think I trade did a trade with like one of the neighborhood kids like that to get the card. But I remember back back in the day being like, "Oh, I got the best card in the set, rookie of the year." Really hope that J Rod wins it. I can't see why he wouldn't. First of all, I thought that Jeremy Pena would be rookie of the year. He had a hot start, but he's had a couple injuries, so. He's uh, kind of slowed down a little bit. There's another Bernie. Barry Bonds, another should be Hall of Famer. And there's another way of the future. Jim Edmonds on the Angels. Great player. Loved him on the Cardinals. Awesome outfielder. Great player. So that's some pretty good inserts so far. Some great players. Sideways cards are throwing me off. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below the set. Did you guys cut this back in the day? Did you cut Flair in general back in the day? It was, you know, they were known for their fit cards. I did collect the uh, the Marvel Flair. I think that was 94 when they made that set. Um, I did buy those packs um, the following year because I had a paper out and could pay for the cards. So there's a Wong Gone. Good player. So the Mariner. The flair of the Marvel was really cool. I like that a lot too. That was a good set. Those are really expensive now, but they're really fun. These aren't too much. There's not a lot of rookie cards or anything crazy in these. Um, I don't think anyone designated it as a rookie card, and not a lot of not a lot of inserts for the set. Um, the next year had a lot uh, better inserts. They had the hot gloves, which are those die cuts. That was like a little ball glove. Those are really cool, and. 
um, I think like outfield power and stuff like that. There's Tony Gwynn. I love looking on like uh, Instagram and stuff like that when people post all the stat crazy stats of like Tony Gwynn, like how many strikeouts he had versus like in like X amount of years versus how many people he had in the league and how many like multi hit games. Like the guy was just a pure hitter, just so good. If you look at his stats compared to anybody else these days, it's insane how well he could hit. There's another expo. It's Will Cordero. If you guys remember him at all. Well, Hershizer, and we had our Wave of the Future on the back of the pack this time, and that is Brad Pennington. I don't remember him very well. You Orioles fans, Car Wolf, do you remember him at all? You're an Orioles, Orioles fan. I don't know if he mounted up, that guy mounted up too much, but... Yeah, I've definitely, I've got some, uh, I do have some 94 that I'll be opening probably sometime later this year. Um, that's probably one of my favorite sets because the inserts were really, were really cool back then. Um, I figured I'd just kind of go in order, I guess, and start with 93 being the uh, inaugural year. Okay, was that checklist? Oh, okay, cool. So we got checklists. I don't even know who that is in the front. It is a catcher for the Giants. That print is so hard to read. Yeah, we got Robbie Allmar on the back, though, so that's cool. We got, that's card 300, so your checklist, that's a fun card. I did like that they start putting players on the checklist instead of just having that little sheet that you would just like you know, draw on there's george brett that's gonna be one of his i think 94 was his last year to have card, like the base cards but that's pretty cool he's a hall of famer albert bell and cecil fielder two huge dudes who just crush home runs man these guys were fun to watch back in the day before you know everyone start juicing and hitting home runs all the time dwight gooden great pitcher and another expo who i don't remember him at all it's a pretty good pack. All right, guys, we are down to, I think, eight left. So not too many more. It's open pretty easy if you got a knife. I did like the uh, the Marvel version of these when they had the, the boxes on them. They had uh, different uh, comic characters in the front of the boxes. Those are really cool. These are kind of plain. No one's in the front, just some guy batting. Robin Ventura. There's your other checklist. Greg Max on the back of that one. Chuck Knobloch, all right. Another Ryan Sandberg. So you're definitely going to get, uh, there's 300 cards. You've definitely got a much larger stack of commons compared to Hall of Famers in this one. I wish there was more inserts. Especially because, like, you know, I think, you know, 90s Fleer was really really pumping out inserts a lot i mean 94 they went just crazy that was when they just really started going crazy on inserts um but i was surprised they had so little because it's kind of their thing there is your next one alan watson the cardinals so that's five of them so far none of the big guys dave justice his head just floats right there in the stands looks like one of those like cardboard cutouts those like big heads you put, put in stands like a, you know nba games and stuff like that it's kind of funny. He was a good player. Yeah, what do you guys think about the All-Star Game? Who's going to win? American League or National League? I think the American League has just basically been on a tear the past 20 years, just always winning. And there's so many guys who are just like, I don't know if they're injured or just, you know, oh, they're not feeling the best. So they're like, oh, you know what? I will skip out on this one. Uh, Ty France just got, um, the Mariners just got announced that he is going to be on the All-Star team now. So Andre Dawson, the Red Sox, cool. Uh, so excited to have that. Two more, two Mariners on the team. So we've got yeah, J-Rod and uh, Craig Biggio. Nice. No, not Craig Biggio on the team, but that's his card. Um, yeah, uh, J-Rod and now Ty France are going to be representing the Mariners on the team. So I think he deserves it. And there's other guys who are obviously killing at first base, but... I mean, he's had a, just a huge year. He's kind of cooled off a little bit recently, but he started out really hot. But his overall numbers are really good. So I'm excited to see him get the all-star nod. Eric Hansen. Mark McGuire. We got another Big Mac. Hoping to get another Griffey here. It'd be cool. There's another Paul Malter. I got the one, so I'm happy about that. I'll have to check and see if I actually end up getting a whole set from this. I mean, there is... So many uh, 
There's quite a few cards in here. But 200, I know, I guess not. 240 cards, so. 10 cards in the pack only. So you get close to it, I guess, anyway. It's a pretty cool set to collect, though. I like the thick cards, the thick stock. Oop, just hit the camera. Oops, sorry, guys. There we go. This one does not have to come off. There we go. Hoping to get at least one more of the inserts in the Griffey would be cool. And that one's got paper stuck to it. Okay. Oh, yeah, I'm getting the updates from the Astros games as well. Nolan Ryan, there you go. One of the greatest pitchers ever. Love Nolan Ryan. Seven no-hitters. It's like Jeremy Pena just hit a home run for the Astros, so they're working on getting further ahead of the Mariners if they can. Greg Maddox, two awesome pitchers, two of my favorites right there, actually. Nolan Ryan and Greg Maddox are probably my two favorite non-Mariners pitchers right there. Same pack. That'd be a pretty sweet pack. You're just pulling one off the shelf there. All right, guys, three left. Appreciate you guys watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments, guys, what your favorite card is. And if you guys are buying this back in the day, if you guys had uh, any awesome polls back in the day, did you guys get any of those Wave of the Futures back in the day? Canseco. Eckersley. Oh, there we go. There's another Wave of the Future. And that is... Domingo Jean. I don't know who that guy is at all. Yankees pitcher. Matt Williams. There's Jeff Bagwell. I was wondering if I'd see one of those in here. This is one of the first years, I believe, that you saw like the Marlins and Rockies cards uh, in regular um, in regular sets. So that's pretty cool. I remember when they expanded back then. Um, I was like, oh, this is really cool. Like, new teams? Like, I thought it was something that they never did. Being, you know, pretty young and not really knowing the history of the game too much. So I thought it was pretty awesome that they were, like, expanding and adding new teams. Of course, they didn't add any in my town, so. Fairman Griff. Sideways cards throw me off. They're so unique. One upside down. Mark Grace. All right, guys, last pack. Let's see if we get one more insert. We got six, so I don't think we really do anymore, but that's pretty much right on track with one per four packs. So, here's the last one. Paul Molitor, so we got another Hall of Famer. I think I've got three of that card. And hey, we did get one more, nice. Aaron Seal, we got a Red Sox pitcher, so he wasn't too bad. So, hey, we pulled off seven. That's pretty cool. Happy about that. Kenny Lofton. And there's an Expos pitch for you guys. Ken Hill. Well, I pulled one Griffey, guys. That's my favorite card for sure right there. Happy to own this card finally. I've never actually purchased it or gotten a pack. So, back's pretty cool. That is my favorite one. We did well. Got seven of the inserts. Didn't get any of the big names, but... We got seven right there, which is pretty cool. Top one's probably that Jim Evans and that Cliff Floyd. So those are pretty cool cards. Let me know again, guys, what you guys think. Appreciate you guys watching. Hope you guys enjoy the Home Run Derby and the All-Star Game. We'll see you after. Keep on ripping.